So this is Sharpie's uh, finale round. And I was actually hoping there would be more cross-country jumps in there besides just two. So there was a lot of show jumping jumps in there. And that's Sharpie's biggest weakness. So um, I tried to make sure I had him warmed up really nicely. Uh, in his warm-ups, I have to do a lot of getting him supple laterally, uh, getting him on his hind end. So uh, he actually handled this environment pretty well. I had spent, again, a lot of time prepping him down here, spending time uh, listening to the speaker. Um, again, it's a lot for the young horses to handle. And I, while I had ridden them in cupboards, uh, this was their first kind of indoor with people above them. So now for the finale, we have to show our flat work. Um, so we have 90 seconds of flat work that we show. So what I'm doing here is I'm going to just stay kind of in front of the judges, doing my trot and canter work um, to show the horse how they move, how obedient they are, show some transitions. And he feels really good. He's feeling nice and focused. And again, we can choose the height. Um, so I chose, with both of my horses did novice this weekend. Um, and again, for Sharpie, that was a little bit of a tough decision for me because, again, I know it's harder for him to stay backed off the smaller fences. So I, I have to do a little bit more work to make sure he stays in balance. But he put in a very good flat work. And now I got the whistle. I was heading to the first fence. So really my goal is to make sure I can keep him in a nice canter where he's balanced on his hind end. And the good thing is, is that they tend to look a little bit more at the jumps in the covered because the lighting is a tad different. So that actually helps me with Sharpie some. Because again, he is so brave, um, it can sometimes be the downfall of him. Um, but he's trying really hard. He has such a good jump, but he doesn't always show it. So he kind of is just cantering over them, just folding over them. But I'll take it right now. So I'm really going to balance him for the brown fence. Uh, he typically, anytime he sees a natural, will knock it down. So I was really happy uh, that he kept that one up. And then I got lucky with that rub right there. And I make sure I add. And this, he actually felt like he jumped really well. Um, just the feeling he gave me because he actually respected it a little bit more. And then coming around the turn to this oxer. And then to the cross country jump, which again, very brave. Barely even looked at it. I had to make sure I kept him off of it a little bit. And now coming to the last show jump fence, which I was just happy to get this one over with. Because <laughs> I knew I had one cross country jump and then our gallop. So again, did the inside turn. Jump that great. And then went on for his gallop. So I was really proud of Sharpie. He did a really good job uh, this weekend. You know, his biggest weakness is uh, show jumping. But um, this was actually his first clean show jumping round that we've had all season. So it, it's the little thing sometimes. So I was really proud of him. He really tried hard. And he put in a good weekend and we finished up fourth out of I think there were a total of 102 horses that were in the eventing division. Uh, so good weekend, and he, he ended up 11th in the freestyle as well out of about 60 horses. So it was a good weekend for my thoroughbreds. Very proud of them.